What's up guys, it's Griff here, and today I'm going to be showing you the rewards I got for the Vault of Glass challenge modes. Um, I'm also going to be talking about the strategies we did. So, for the no teleports, we basically had five on the right side, and then me as the uh, Aegis holder, I would be on the left side basically cancelling a teleport when I needed to, and besides that, I would basically just be hiding in the back so I wasn't dying, essentially. Um, and it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, I would, yeah, I, as you see, I killed him with the actual ult because I would damage him every time I had my super. So, that it actually worked pretty well. We eventually started getting really consistent with it, and that got really good. With For the Atheon challenge, um, basically, once the portal was active, everyone but one person would go inside the portal, shoot the oracles until they killed one, get out as fast as they could. Um, the relic holder would be at the door cleansing, so people that ran out would be instantly cleansed. And, yeah, it worked pretty well. Um... Sometimes it took quite a while, other times we did it like first or second try, it was crazy, so... It wasn't that hard. I think the Templar challenge was way harder than the Aetheon challenge. It took us like three hours to do the Templar challenge the first time. But, um, yeah, as per the rewards, I got I got all the exotics, which is nice, because I did that in Crota too, so now I have all the Crota exotics, all the Aetheon exotics, or all the Volk exotics now. And I got the Fatebringer three times, because <laughs> I guess just that's what I get for farming the Imago loop for a year and a half. But, anyways guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.